first of all, we'll start with this. Uh, it was really good to have the 88-89 team back in the building. Uh, obviously, I wish we would, could have had a better result while those guys are here, but I've had a chance to meet several members of that team, a couple of more by practice yesterday, and um, unbelievable people, competitors. Um, I think you guys know what they mean to this university and, and as far as basketball goes. And so just uh, proud to, that we were able to honor them. Uh, I wish I, I wish we would have had a chance to win the game. It would have been a perfect day for those guys, but that doesn't take away from the fact that uh, they were in the building and uh, just excited about them being here. Uh, the game, tough game for us in the sense that we didn't have our big three that played well. And I thought Taquavion Smith did, uh, but when you look at uh, you know Sebron and you look at Jericho, they didn't have great games. And so, you know, if those three doesn't play great, it's always a tough situation for us. Uh, even when they play w well, we still need one or two guys to play in order to have a chance to win. Uh, I thought we did some really good things. Where we're, we're completely uh, beat up. Um, Sebron didn't practice the last couple of days because he had had something going on with his neck from the Syracuse game and he beat the water, you know, uh, toughed it out today. I didn't know if he was going to play and then obviously Jericho goes down with a finger. So we're, uh, we're battling, we're fighting um, and our guys are trying and, and giving their effort and doing as much as they can. I uh, give Notre Dame credit. I thought they made shots when they need to. Uh, a little bit of a slow start for us and uh, we fall back and then once we got tight, I thought they made some big plays. So, questions? Kevin, what did you feel like was the biggest problem that seemed to change the whole momentum of the game? Yeah, Chip, I, you know, we just played against Syracuse, and man, if I told the guys before the game, if everybody would take our take from the Syracuse game, they're going to play Syracuse the same way. We looked like I mean, we moved the ball, we did a great job. I thought we stood around against Notre Dame zone and didn't have a lot of player and ball movement. And I think that hurt us a little bit. We settled where when you look at the, the Syracuse game, we drove it, we hit the middle, we you know, passed it inside out, we played inside out, we made shots, we rebounded against it, and I thought we stood around a little bit tonight, today. You had mentioned in the first game how Leshewski had hurt you in, in the three-point shooting. I think they had 11 threes. And then today it seemed like they were getting to the rim, and obviously you don't have the height that you would want. You know, was there an adjustment where they just started to drive more, take advantage of trying to get more layups? You know, we did a good job of defending the three-point line. We said that, you know, we felt like we got hurt at their place behind the arc. And I think we gave up 11 three-pointers. Today we gave up six. Um, I thought they made some plays. I thought they got some 50-50 balls that really hurt us. We got beat off the dribble a little bit. But for the most part, we wanted to stay on their shooters. They've been having a lot of success by shooting the basketball. Um, when you look at the way they played in Miami the last couple of days, they haven't shot it a couple of games, they haven't shot it great. And so now they're scoring in the paint. Uh, but, you know, when they went small, it kind of helped us a little bit because we don't have many guys on our roster. So we were, at one point during the game, there were 10 guards on the floor. And that was us. And I think that's when we made our run. We were able to cut the lead and kind of get back in the game just because that's all we have on our roster. When it, when it was 21-4, to four, which, did, you, did you feel like the, the team had a feeling to get back in this game? I mean, obviously it's an early run. It's not like it's a knockout punch. Yeah, no, you know what, uh, Chip, the weird thing is it's crazy, but this team, I never feel like they were out of it. And I know you, you look at it and see 21-4, and you're like, man, this team's not. But we had our runs. Uh, we have some pride. I just I don't want to get in the habit of being the team as we've done so many times, it's down so long, I mean, so often and early that we have to come back. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see any panic in our guys. So we just didn't make shots. And then during that stretch, I thought you know, when we went to halftime, we had they had eight um, fast break points, and I thought that was a difference. And neither team was really scoring; they were getting a lot of easy baskets, and we were working for every shot that we got. So I didn't, I didn't think it was an issue, and, and we kind of. You know, raced it by halftime. 